Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. Um, what we got right here is a uh, something that me and her both been wanting, but uh, it's a uh, incubator. It's an egg incubator. Um, this is just a cheap one off of eBay. Um, it holds 96 eggs. It, it wasn't like 60 bucks, 60, 70, but something like that, 60, 70 bucks, something like that. And uh, we, we don't know if they're any good or not, but we got one. We want to try it because uh, um, we got our... Uh, uh, white leghorns up there with our uh, Somani chickens. We're going to make some of those zombie chickens. So we want an uh, incubator to put them in uh, to try to experiment with uh, and raise some chicks this year. Why, you know, why it's early in the year, we're going to start incubating some. Hopefully, we'll get some up this year. But uh, anyway, I'm going to open this thing up. But before I do, uh, if you haven't done so yet, uh, take a second, hit that subscribe button and help us out a little bit. Uh, if, if you got time, hit that and hit that like button and you'll be notified of the videos when we put them out. We got a bunch of stuff coming up this year, so I mean, actually, we got a lot of stuff coming up this year. So, uh, if you could please just hit that subscribe button if you like what we're doing here. Anyway, uh, we'll open this. Um, like I said, I don't know what kind of. I mean, I, well, I mean, I know what kind of better is. I mean, I don't know what kind of percentage hash rate we'll get out of it or anything like that because there's mixed reviews online about it. Um, some, some of the reviews say it's a really good little incubator. Some of them say they wouldn't have it. So, I mean, but it is one of the cheapest ones. And I didn't want to invest a lot of money in something. Um, okay, right out the top, you got a bottle, a water bottle. I'll show you what that's for. Uh, and you got the power cord. It's a, one, it's a 120 power cord. So it's basically the same thing like a computer or something like that. Same exact cord. Throw that there and there. And we got this thing here pretty good hopefully it's packaged better than a egg plug or chicken plugger now here's the top here's the lid for it that's the lid for it um, the only thing I know that I don't like about it so far is it reads in Celsius and not Fahrenheit so I have to google all that um, right there but like I said here's a control panel then you got there's a fan right there, and here's your controls for your uh, egg turners, and there's your thermostat, or humid. That's a thermostat, and that's the humidity. I'm pretty sure. Um, so Let we'll me see. see. The front. Huh? Let me see the front. It, does it say what kind of? Deal? It just says egg incubator. And there again, I, one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, whenever I was looking online for a cheap incubator, I'm looking for something that won't use a whole lot of power uh, Simply because you know like we're completely solar reliant here And I don't want something that's going to use four or five hundred watts Constantly these incubators will kick on and off and on and off But I mean still it's still they still use a lot of watts, but this one right here only uses 80 watts it Says right here on the front 80 watts Supposedly now I mean like I said I ain't never had this kind I ain't never tried this kind But it says it uses 80 watts Um We'll see a big scratch on it right there is all I see right there like a big deep scratch right there Don't affect it in any way, but right there there Like I said, it, it does not affect it in any way um, I'm gonna take and set this over out of the way Then it comes with a um, An instruction book I guess you can use this thing like a Right here right here's what it is it holds, it's a double decker. It holds 48 eggs in each little deal. It's got automatic egg turners in it, or you can do it the single, just put 48 eggs in it, you know, like that. Or you can put both of them on it like that if you got 48 eggs. But like I said, it comes with a, the book on it actually is good. I mean, it's good picture quality in book. I mean, colors, pages, it's even got the, like the real thick. I mean, it's detailed. There's the egg turners. The whole nine yards, so. All right, these right here must be individual. Gotta send it out. This a box that's got stuff in it, which I'm pretty sure it's the, one of them's the egg turner and, other, and one of them probably the, like the sides, you know, like to put together. It's another box just like that. That'll bend up a little bit. I hope nothing's broken there. And here is the bottom. Okay, now we can move this big box out of the way. That's all of everything out of the box. Okay. We'll throw 
load over out there. Well, here's the bottom. It's got this little thing you put in it right here. And uh, these little cheap incubators here, everybody knows that you put water in the bottoms of these things. Okay, just have to figure it out. But anyway, you, I'll just have to show you how this works. But these right here, these right here, actually channels hold water. This is what these are for, for the humidity. And then put this on there. I'm pretty sure we'll have to trim this to fit because it doesn't work exactly, exactly fit really good. So we'll probably have to trim that a little bit. I won't trim it much though. But anyway, that's the bottom. Alright. First box. Let's open this one. Let's see what we got. Yeah, this is uh, one of the turners on the sides. I'll hold it real good. Hold on, But it is now. I just need to flop open a little bit more working. See what's in it. Okay. There we go. Let's move this cord and this bottle over here all the way. Okay, here's the sides. You gotta put this thing together. And it's like a, a puzzle evidently. So, I'm going to have to break out the instructions. Here's the egg turner, and there's the screws. The egg turner forces in nine bazillion pieces, so we'll have to set all this over here for right now. We'll set it right there. There's a little motor and whatever and whatever. We'll figure all that out. And here's a little pack of screws. And I know this pack of screws holds this thing together. I already know that. So I'm gonna throw this out of the way. And the other one's got the exact same thing in it. I already know that. So it, it absolutely has to have the exact same thing in it. Or there'd be no way to because it's the second tier for it, so yeah, it's exactly the same. So, alrighty. What this thing is, it, holds, it has three screws. It's gonna be in each corner. It's got little, little tiny little nuts that you put in these little things. It's like made for like the nut to fit in. Then you got these little tiny screws. You stick them in. And then, what I'm doing is taking my drill, because I'm going to twist that drill. is it really didn't come with no, no instructions of how to do that I thought it was pretty good instructions but it's not well I mean there's pictures right there but like right there kind of shows you so I gotta put the, those together to it twice that's a single one but it didn't come with a divider we got we got a double one but it didn't it didn't come with a divider to 
like separate the two tiers like the chickens from falling through you know what i'm saying so anyway uh let me move this and get my other stuff out and i'll be right back all right this is the piece that turns it here just go through and snap it on there's those three and this is the piece that holds it kind of sturdy not keep it from flopping around this piece right here I'm pretty sure we'll have to anyway there's the egg turner put together and go in there like so this piece here go on there before that but This will have to be trimmed though. And it did give some quail ones in case you wanted to do quail instead. Yeah. Yeah, 44, I think 22 in each one. Yeah. Try your new scissors out. Yeah. Sets here. Right there. That's just to keep the chicks from falling down in the water, I suppose. And then you set this on there. I actually set this on there first. Never done that, so it's on that. even got that bent over. Let's see if it goes this way. Well, that ain't no better. Well, that definitely won't work. Yeah, because there's cracks all the way around it. Well, that definitely won't work. This right here, that's bent. Like got it bent over like that, so that. Maybe I'm supposed to go the other way, I guess. I, I don't know. Got it leaning in right there? Yeah. That won't work. That's like that. But it has to be that way. Okay. 
All right, guys, what we're doing, I got this first ring of it put together. I got the egg turner put in there. I wanted to put it in there and plug it up, make sure it works. Um, can't really see it from over, but anyway, I've got it. I've got it set, the temperature set. Uh, to, I want to make sure it comes up to temperature before I do anything else. Uh, it should get up to 38 degrees Celsius. Is this this book right here? It's just straight up bull crap. It really is. It doesn't tell you anything. Doesn't show you anything. I thought it was gonna be a pretty good book, you know, I mean, it colored and all that crap. But this book right here ain't. I mean, they might as well just send toilet paper with it because that's about all you can do with that. All right, guys. These we're gonna go ahead and put this other egg turner together. Um, we've looked online. Uh, YouTube everywhere trying to find a video on how to put these egg turns together and because they are a little bit aggravating at first but there's nothing nowhere on there so uh, after playing with it for a little while we figured it out and it's I mean it's actually kind of simple but you just snap them out all, all, you got a you got a short side and then you got a long side this long side uh, it goes toward the toward the motor you just snap them into the frames like this. There's a plate, there's seven slots in here, but you don't put nothing in the middle one right there because that's where the motor is. So. Okay, there's that side. You take these things right here, and this is what holds it. Kind of together and up, right? Let's see. I think that goes probably. Yeah, that goes. Let's see here. She goes just like that, but it does not want to. Goes. Is that just snaps right on her like that in this direction, just like that? Okay, if you don't have that, then it won't set up. Uh, here's the motor side. Okay, this engine, the motor faces outwards like that, which is kind of confusing because that's the slick side, don't make no sense to me. You got to do the slick side over here, so, but, but anyway. You take and basically do the same thing. You just click it right. The bottom one. So move that up away. The bottom one goes into that. Make sure you use the same holes you did over here. foot on here yeah okay there's that okay you notice they're all just sitting there kind of rocking back and forth then you take this thing they have a one way this will go and that's kind of I don't want to mess it up but anyway you take this right here you slide it right up on that motor just like that and then you just turn these till they basically fit on there the way you want them to just like that and tilt them till they fit I guess the easiest way would do it to do it would be to plug it up and turn the motor the way you want it but this right here works go through here turn them the way that the they would be turned Okay, just like that. Okay, and that's how you do it. That's how you put these things together. Okay, that's together. The other one's together and in there. But here's the problem we're having. It does not work. Uh, 
turn around here. You can also do the quail. Yeah. Yeah, come with two more two more quail racks for this one. So we got a total of four quail racks. That'd be like 80 quail eggs you can put in one of these things. If it worked. Okay. But you can also put the quail in there. Yeah, you can put them in there too. If it worked. Okay, here's the problem. This thing is not heating. The temperature is not rising on it whatsoever. 28. It is set at 38 degrees, set 38.2 degrees Celsius. And that's where it's been sitting here now for probably 45 minutes and it has not moved. And it is not heating, it's not got any heat. The egg turner works, the fan works, everything works, but it will not heat. So basically they sent us a piece of junk. That's what I'm getting at. So I'm gonna set this over here all the way. And that is not heating in any way. No heat whatsoever is coming off of that. None. It's got like a little, got like a little heating element in there, a little piece of metal. And anyway, you put your egg turners right in here. For what reason I don't know, because it don't work. But we'll put them in here just for, just to humor ourselves, I suppose. Okay. There's that. So, I mean, that's how to look down in there. Then you got your two leads right here for your egg turners. Taking. I mean, it would be. I mean, it would be a pretty cool little machine if it worked. So, anyway, you just plug these things up. Okay, that's that's all you do to plug the motors up right there. Then you just take this right here. Just kind of tuck it in there. All right. That's everything. Well, minus putting water in it. You got to put water in it. But it don't have the whole thing on it that it's supposed to it's supposed to, It's supposed to have a hole somewhere in this, this piece here in which you stick this in and add water. It does not have a hole. Yeah, both, both of those work just fine. Everything works except for it's not heating. It's just absolutely not heating. So, alrighty guys, that's gonna conclude the incubator. Uh, I left it running all night last night. I left it plugged up and the heating element inside of it is not working. It's just, it's not working. It didn't heat up any whatsoever. And like I said, it run for a good, what, 10, 12 hours, something like that. So I did email the seller. Um, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, but I mean, all in all, <clears throat> everything else works. The egg turners work, the fan works, uh, everything works, but it will not heat up will not heat up all the little display here and all this works i don't know if it's a bad heating element or something going on with the control panel here or what but something is definitely not working but anyway guys uh i'll see if i can get another one we'll we'll share that one too but as of right now this right here is junk don't buy it anyway if you haven't done so yet please like uh, and subscribe to our channel uh helps out a little bit but anyway, guys, uh, thank you. We'll see you on the next one.